ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to actually take a ride in the u4 600 and we're going to talk about the turning radius the top speed and i'm going to show you some really awesome things about the maintenance side of the u4 600 we may even talk a little bit about the seaforce 1000 we'll talk about the turning radius on it and a few other things but we'll primarily focus on the 600 so before we hop in this thing and start driving i want to show you this awesome accessory from main street cycle we've got several of these in stock that we can ship out to you or you can pick up in store but this box is absolutely awesome now yes it is a huge box so it does fill up the bed quite a bit but you can still right here in this area stuff some i thought about stuff in my muck boots or something like that down in this area or anything like that uh, nothing too wide there is still a, a pretty good area right here that you can put things but the biggest feature of this is being able to put your stuff covered up keep it out of the elements and i really like that but also before you even open this up you have a huge platform that you could you could strap an ice chest down on one side if you would like for while you're driving or riding around it's got these big tie down points that are heavy and sturdy and you got that on both sides and it is the width of the box back here and you got this awesome heavy duty latches and then you just lift this up that spring catches it and man you can put all kinds of stuff in it it's not divided in the middle so you got tons of area to put things i used this actually last night and i put my gator waders in there and uh some some other items that we brought to the hunting camp last night and it did great it held everything i was on a very dusty road and all of it was clean because it kept all the dust and uh, any other kind of elements out of my stuff so you can get that main street cycle also before we take a ride i do want to show you some neat things about the u-force 600 we now can fill the oil up from right here at the valve cover that is very nice very easy to access you got your air box here as well this here is the inlet for your cvt and then you can see this u-shaped box which reminds me of the canon maverick x3 that this is how your outlet on your on your cvt flows out it just flows around this area there blows back down on the engine and gives a little more airflow your battery is in a very nice location it's right there sorry i'm not using my gopro i'll swap to it in a minute but the battery is right there and you can easily get to it right here or you just simply lift the seat out of the way lift your storage box which is i guess i can show you that you got a storage box here and that's really nice but you can take it and lift this whole thing you need two hands so i won't be able to do it right now because i'm holding the camera but you can get to the box and the battery rather and all kinds of other things so I really like that feature and the seat does adjust back forward and back and you do have a tilt and steering wheel as well so a lot of awesome features on the u4 600 we'll talk about more when we uh, get in the vehicle and start riding because we want to see what the turning radius is as well as the top speed but one more thing that's really neat lift this up I can try to do this one-handed. Turn this up out of the way. Lift the whole hood out of the way. Check that out. Now everything is easy to get to. You can get to your radiator and clean it really well. You can get to your brake fluid, your uh, coolant reservoir, your fuse box your winch uh, solenoid there and uh, that's also your bluetooth module for your winch remote just get to everything really easily and i really like that very thoughtful on the maintenance and act ease of access to everything on the u4 600 so uh i know y'all want to see 
the turning radius and a few drive drive review things so uh, that's why you clicked on this video right so let's do that uh, one thing that we can do also before we crank it up I have you saw on another video of mine if you've been watching the channel we put 28 inch Blackwater Evos from Main Street Cycle on a U4600 well I tried to fit some 28 inch M1 Evils uh, on MSA wheels uh, but this is a, a zero offset zero millimeter uh, so that means that it sticks out even further than the 5 plus 2 which is a negative 10 millimeter offset so uh, with that being said these M1 Evils 28s they actually measure true to size so for all of you that are wanting to know what will rub well these 28 inch M1 Evils you can see they when I turn all the way as you'll see here in a minute when we do the uh, when we do the test for the turning radius it'll rub right there when I turn all the way and it does that on both sides so 28 inch M1 Evil does not fit without rubbing uh, I would probably need to do a little bit of a suspension lift or something but you're safe to go with 27s all day long these M1 Evils are kind of heavy as well uh, they're actually a lot heavier than the stock and a, a good bit heavier than the 28 inch Blackwater Evos. So keep that in mind as well. We should be able to still get our top speed run here in a moment and uh, we'll do that with a GPS. So let's crank this thing up, check out the turning radius and we'll talk about some more things. But first we gotta switch to the GoPro Hero 10. Ready? All right, so now that we've swapped to the wide angle GoPro Hero 10, we're gonna crank up the U4600 always let your fuel pump prime up and not just switch it right over and crank it fires right up now one thing i do want to clarify real quick this normal and work mode now i would have thought that the work mode would have been a little you know less sensitive uh because if you were you know needing to use throttle control to back up to a trailer or pulling the load it would be less sensitive but actually uh, on this one anyways when you put it in work mode it gives it the full beans it's a lot more aggressive and uh, it's like more like the sport mode on the Z Force 950 and normal mode is more like economy it dampens the throttle uh, so it you, you, and actually as a matter of fact I'll show you when we do the top speed run that uh, it actually limits your RPM in normal mode, whereas work, it, it goes to, I mean, it still has a speed limiter, but it's not nothing like the normal mode, which, like I said, from, from now on out, I will almost refer to normal as economy and work as sport mode. But anyhow, that will help you understand what those modes do. When you swap them, you'll see it on the screen. Uh, we're in normal mode right now. We'll go to low gear. The cabin noise is, I just, really it's about equivalent to uh, any other side of side out there. It's not just super quiet. It's not an electric vehicle by no means, but it, it is quiet. You can carry on a conversation. And uh, the cabin comfort is very nice. So here's one thing I'd like to show you. I've already kind of tested out the uh, turning radius, but this here is my kid's trampoline and they've strode a mess out here, <laughs> so excuse that. But this is a normal size trampoline right here. I'm gonna get right up next to it and I'm gonna start turning and I'm gonna turn it all the way and I, as a matter of fact, I just I'm having to kind of back off of the turning because if I didn't, the back here will actually almost hit when I get around to this side. Yeah. So the turning radius is a little bit tighter. If I got up here on one side and just held the steering wheel. 
say I'm coming up close to it, I gotta back off the steering wheel. It's a little bit tighter than this trampoline here, which is, you know, it's not a real big trampoline, normal size one. And uh, it, it turns right around in this circle here. And as a matter of fact, the first time that I hopped in the U4600, that was the very first thing I noticed was how good the turning radius is. So we can come up around this dirt mound. You heard it rub a little bit. We'll go around here. Now I'm gonna turn sharp, try to get it back around this. It's very nice. And if I had the stock tires and rims on, uh, it would turn even tighter because the stock tires and rims are a little bit narrower and a lot smaller and it makes it just a tad bit more nimble. So I know some of you have been asking about, you know, how does it compare to other ones? Uh, I'm going to have a Ranger 570 over here very soon and we'll do a shootout between the two. Uh, but I know that the Polaris claims that they're uh, turning radius on the Ranger is just some super tight number and when you look at that versus what CF Moto says about the U4600 on paper it's way different and in the real world is where we need to really look at it because you know Polaris has a weird way of measuring their uh, their specs such as their suspension travel all that usable travel that they talk about which is not actual suspension travel that everyone else uses uh, before we go do the speed run uh, let me show you this on the C Force 1000 which kind of shocked me so I feel like for a four-wheeler that's lone wheel base that this C Force 1000 has a pretty good turning radius so you've seen how we have uh, we, we've taken this C Force 1000 through some very tight trails and we just flipping it through there and, and flying through the trails in the woods with no problem. I've never like been in a bind because the turning radius wasn't good. And this is a monster of a machine. But I'm gonna show you something that impresses me about the U4600. We're gonna go back over this trampoline and I'm gonna show you that the U4600 has a tighter turning radius than the C Force 1000. We'll put in low gear. Okay, so same spot, and I'm gonna turn it. Let's get lined up. All right, I'm gonna turn, hold it all the way, and you're gonna see I'm getting further away from the trampoline, getting over into my girl's mess they've been building up over here, and I'm way away from the trampoline. I haven't, I haven't moved the steering wheel. I'm gonna come a little closer on this side. But I, I never have to readjust the steering wheel. I'm just holding it all the way the whole time. And with the U4600, I was having to kind of work the steering wheel to keep the bed of it from hitting the, the railing on the trampoline. So I thought that would be a good visual because everybody kind of knows about how big a, tramp, a regular old trampoline from Walmart, how big they are. I can't remember what the footage is. I'll get a tape measure and find out. But anyhow, I'm still impressed with the Seaforce 1000. And yes, it's about time to start doing some uh, modifications to it. I know a lot of you want to see a Seaforce 1000 with some mud tires and all that stuff and uh, probably a race kit. And I'm really wanting to go race this thing, so That'll be coming up in some videos soon, so be watching for that. But now, what a lot of you have been wanting to know, let's go see how fast this U4600 is. Now, <laughs> by no means is this thing built to be fast, but everybody still likes to know, hey, how fast will it go? Because uh, some of you will use this to cruise some back roads, cruise around the property, stuff like that, and uh, you want to know how fast it is. So. We'll do that, and uh, just to let you know, 
but what this thing is made for it's absolutely excellent very usable a lot of storage storage underneath we've got a bunch of more accessories that we're going to be adding i love this glove box here and it's it's deep you can put some stuff in it it closes off good no rattles i love the cup holders the storage underneath the seat and the ease of maintenance is absolutely excellent so let's go uh we'll get the gps out because since i'm running 28 the uh speedometer will be off and so we'll just see what the actual speed is on my phone so let's check it out all right so let's go on. we hit 50 miles an hour that's with these big 28s on it and a windshield so that was blocking a lot of uh, aerodynamics really puts a lot of drag on the machine but that is excellent for what this machine is made for it's fast enough i promise you so uh anyhow what we're going to do now is i'm going to actually put in normal mode and that's going to slow uh it's going to limit your rpms therefore limiting your speed and uh, it's just a throttle dampener that makes it ride even smoother in normal mode. All right, so we will see what the top speed is in normal. So that was 42 miles an hour in normal mode. And that just limits your uh, RPM. Like I said, I was having to holler <laughs> going down the road, but uh, that limits your throttle input and makes it drive smoother. And it's kind of like economy mode. Work mode gives you the full beans. So 50 miles an hour top speed with 28s, according to the GPS. So um, that, that, that gives you a good idea. Uh, it takes a while to get up to that speed it's not at no speed uh speedster drag racer that's for sure that's what it's not it's not made for that uh, if you want uh, hard acceleration and fast top end this is your machine or the u-force 1000 but if you're needing something to do work around the home uh, you can even cut up and play and recreational ride with this of course it's built like a tank uh, you've got beefy suspension components big axles uh everything about this machine is built great and uh you'll be very pleased with this it's more than enough for what many people uh will use it for so you got plenty of room uh you actually i mean riding around the yard we put our uh girl right here and uh just kind of playing around in the yard driving around and uh, she fits there uh, but it's actually only made safely for two people two full-size adults can fit in here absolutely no problem there is space in the middle two nice comfortable seat belts the ergonomics everything about it is great so uh, i'm six foot one i fit in there just fine and uh really like the machine so i hope that was a good uh, review for you that's a little more detailed than a couple of my other videos so i hope you enjoyed that we'll be taking them out on the trails very soon and showing you that but if you want one of these machines or any other cf moto product or any accessory like the box the rear windshield the door kits uh the front windshield the speaker system anything like that you can get it for your u-force as well as products for the c-force and z-force lineup and uh look forward to doing some more videos on this beast and uh man just love what cf moto is doing 
uh, excited about what's to come in the future. But uh, remember guys, I hope y'all have a great uh, holiday and Thanksgiving that we have plenty to be thankful for. That is for sure. So God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. And we'll see you in the next one.